Was there ever life on Mars? NASA is now sending a new Mars rover called Perseverance to try to answer the question about whether or not the planet ever supported life. <laughs> One of the main scientific goals for Perseverance is to look for evidence that the red planet may have been inhabited by microbial life forms billions of years ago. This video focuses on the instrument called Pixel, which uses a technique called X-ray fluorescence to look for signs of ancient life. The Mars 2020 mission is scheduled for launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida between July 30th and August 11th, with the Perseverance rover landing on Mars in Jezero Crater on February 18th, 2021. PIXEL is an acronym for Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry. PIXEL contains a camera capable of taking super close-up pictures, providing enough detail to see objects as small as a grain of salt. PIXEL also has a built-in X-ray spectrometer which will be used to identify chemical elements. The data from Pixel and other Perseverance instruments such as SuperCam, Sherlock, and MassCam-Z will be used to select rock samples which will one day be returned to Earth for full scientific analysis in an attempt to find evidence that life was once present on Mars. The principal investigator for Pixel is Abigail Allwood, an Australian geologist and astrobiologist at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory who specializes in the evolution of early life on Earth and the search for life on other planets. She first came to the attention of NASA and JPL for her work in discovering signs of life called stromatolites in Australia's Pilbara region. The 3.4 billion year old stromatolites are sedimentary rocks that formed due to the colonial growth of ancient microbes. The search for evidence of life on Mars is based on the assumption that if there was life on ancient Mars, that it may have been similar to ancient Earth life forms and would have left behind biosignatures similar to stromatolites, and other signs of the first living organisms on our planet. So how exactly will Pixel work? Pixel takes advantage of a phenomena called fluorescence, which occurs when high energy forms of electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays or ultraviolet rays, cause a sample to fluoresce or glow. The image shows a sample of zinc fluorescing due to exposure to UV light. Pixel will use a technique called XRF, which stands for X-ray fluorescence. XRF works by aiming x-rays at a rock, which causes the material to fluoresce. The instrument collects information about electromagnetic radiation given off by the glowing sample. Because each element fluoresces its own unique electromagnetic signature, the technique allows scientists to determine which elements are present in a sample. The process is similar to the flame test experiment performed in many high school chemistry classes, in which different elements are heated in a Bunsen burner. The heat of the flame causes the chemicals to produce different colors of light, Students are able to identify which element is present in an unknown chemical sample by observing the color of light given off during the test. The energy from the flame causes electrons to make jumps between energy levels, which produces a form of electromagnetic radiation called a photon. An XRF test directs X-rays at a sample, providing energy which causes inner ring electrons to be ejected from the atom. Then, an electron in a higher energy level will jump down to the empty spot in the lower energy level in a process called a quantum leap. As the second electron transitions, or jumps to the lower energy state, a photon is created. This photon will have a unique wavelength and frequency, which depend on the size of the quantum leap the electron has made. Large jumps give off higher energy photons, and smaller jumps give off lower energy photons. Since each chemical element fluoresces in its own unique way, scientists can analyze the photons given off by a sample and use the wave properties of emitted EM radiation to identify which elements are present in the rock being examined. This will allow scientists to determine what types of compounds are present in a rock, how the rock formed, and how likely the rock would be to contain biosignatures. So why did NASA pick Jezero Crater as the landing site for the Perseverance rover? The Jezero Crater site was selected largely because it is the location of an ancient river delta that formed where a river emptied into a lake that existed 3.5 billion years ago when there was liquid water on the surface of Mars. CRISM data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has shown evidence of hydrated silica compounds along the edge of the delta. Silica compounds are excellent preservers of microfossils on Earth. So if there was ever life on Mars, locations with this compound are one of the best places to look for the evidence of those ancient organisms. The CRISM data has also shown evidence of carbonate compounds along what was the shoreline of the ancient lake. The carbonate compounds can be observed as the green regions in the satellite image. Carbonate compounds are especially interesting to scientists because they are found in organisms such as seashells and corals.
carbonates are also present in stromatolites, which form in shallow waters as algae grows new layers on top of older layers, eventually forming a sedimentary rock. The presence of carbonate deposits could possibly be a sign of similar life forms having grown along the shoreline of this ancient Martian lake. Since Pixel will allow scientists to remotely determine which elements are found in the Martian rocks and in what ratios those elements are present, the data collected by this instrument will allow scientists to determine the condition in which those rocks formed. Are they volcanic or sedimentary? Did the rock form in an ocean or a river? Could they contain evidence of ancient life forms? Research teams will select rocks for sampling using pixel data, along with data from another instrument called Sherlock, which will be able to detect the presence of organic carbon. Pixel and Sherlock will not be able to provide a definite answer about whether or not life ever existed on Mars, but they will help us to select the best rocks that will be most likely to have preserved evidence of life. These rocks will be core sampled, cached, and someday returned to Earth to be studied more closely. If further analysis reveals the presence of microfossils or other biosignatures, science would conclude that microscopic life forms had once thrived on Mars. That would be a conclusion which would open the door to all kinds of new questions. Some of the other instruments which will also collect data to aid in the search for life on Mars include MastCam-Z and SuperCam. MastCam-Z is the mast-mounted camera system capable of taking panoramic images, high-def video, and 3D images which will also be used to select rocks for core sampling. SuperCam will look for biosignatures using a camera, spectrometers, and a laser which can analyze rock and soil from a distance of 7 meters. Here are your top five things to know about Pixel. Pixel will look for the types of changes to the chemical makeup and texture of soil and rocks that would happen due to the action of life forms. Pixel only weighs about 10 pounds. Similar instruments used on Earth are normally about 500 pounds. Pixel is very flexible and has excellent mobility to scan interesting rock features. Pixel can provide high resolution images of objects as small as a grain of sand, which will help in the search for tiny biosignatures. Pixel is capable of detecting over 20 different types of chemical compounds. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please keep checking back to my channel for additional videos about Perseverance and the Mars 2020 mission.